Hi there. How are you today? Hope you're all doing well. God bless you. Thank you for watching. Today, by God's grace and by the help of the Holy Spirit, uh, what we are going to do today, by God's grace, is a bit, a little bit of challenge. God wants to challenge you and me. Praise the Lord. Yes, God is challenging us, and um, her topic today is let's go on to perfection. Let's go on to perfection. God is calling us on to perfection. Jesus said, be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect. Let's go on to a deeper life in Christ Jesus. Let's just stop staying at the head of the river. Let's go into the deep sea with Jesus. Like the Lord was telling the children of Israel when they were on the mountain in, in the wilderness, you've stayed on this mountain too long. Get up. You need to move on. You need to move forward. You're going to your uh, Canaan land, to your promised land. Get up and, you know, move, grow, grow up. Praise the Lord. I pray the Lord God will help us. God is calling us, you and me, into a deeper relationship, deeper life, deeper spiritual discipline, spiritual fellowship with God. Praise the Lord. And we're going to be looking at Hebrew uh, chapter 5 and 6. Yes, by God's grace, we're going to be looking at Hebrew 5, 12 to 14, and then Hebrew chapter 6, verse 1 and 2. Praise the Lord. We're going to start from Hebrew 5, 12. It says, For though by this time you have to be teachers, you need someone to teach you again. The first principle of the oracle of God. And you have come to need milk and not solid food. What? For everyone who partakes only of milk is unskilled in the word of righteousness. For he is a babe. But solid food belongs to those who are full of age. It belongs to those who are of full age. Amen. That is, those who by reason of use have, ex have, have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. Praise the Lord. This is Paul challenging the Hebrews. It was like you have... You're, you're supposed to be mature. You're supposed to be teachers, making disciples. But you're still babe. You still need milk. I pray that will not be our own case. So he's challenging them. You still need people to teach you because you're not growing. You need milk, not even solid food. Because you're unskilled in the word of righteousness. Are we still unskilled in the word of righteousness? This uh, passage is talking to us. And he went further in verse 14. He said, but solid food belongs to those who are of full age. Are you of full age? That is, those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. Praise the Lord. So if you are full of age, you're beginning to hit solid food. Amen. Praise the Lord. So you can now discern between good and evil. Praise the Lord. So God is calling you if you think you're full of age. You, you're hitting solid food. Good. God is calling you now to perfection. Praise the Lord. You don't stay there. We need to continue to grow in our spiritual work with the Lord. You are no longer baby. You are now full, I mean, adult in, in, in Christ. 
then go on to perfection. Chapter 6, verse 1 to 2 says, Therefore, leaving the discussion, leaving the discussion of the elementary principle of Christ. Let us go on to perfection, not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith towards God, praise the Lord, of the doctrine of baptism, of laying on, on of ends, of resurrection of the dead, and of eternal judgment. And this we will do if God permits. So God is calling us to perfection. It's calling us. You are full of age. You, you cannot descend from uh, good and evil. You are now using uh, your spiritual senses, your discernment. You can descend from both good and evil. So move on to perfection. Praise the Lord. God wants us to move on to perfection. We need to begin to pray, Lord, take me to my next level. I want to know you more. I want to grow deeper in you. Praise the Lord. This is my heart desire, and I pray this will be your desire too. The Bible says that in the last day, he will pour his spirit upon all flesh. Praise the Lord. The Bible says they that know their God, those who know their God, they will do exploit. There are still so many People over the world who are yet to know the Lord. God is looking for people he will send all over to preach the gospel, to raise disciples, to prepare his people for his coming. Praise the Lord. Are you ready? Are you ready to move, uh, to go on to perfection with God, with Jesus? There's no instant disciple. There's no microwave process to make you uh, Christ-like overnight. No, we've got to stretch our spiritual muscles. We've got to seek the Lord. We've got to wait upon the Lord. Be ready to, 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 to search the scripture more diligently now, to spend more times in prayer, in, in searching the scripture. Praise the Lord. God wants us to to, 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 to seek him more. He says, seek me why you, I may be found. Praise the Lord. So God is calling us to perfection so that we can show forth his glory, so that we can show forth his power, his, be light, so that we can be light and salt to our generation. My brothers and sisters, you've been in Christ for, for, for years and you, you God is waiting for you now. Let's go on to perfection. It's all right. You're full of, you're of age now. You're eating solid. All right. Let's go to perfection. Praise the Lord. There's still more ground to cover. There's still mountains to take for the Lord. There are still places in the world where the gospel have not reached. My brothers and sisters. We've got a lot of work to do. The Bible says in the end time, the gospel has to be taken to all the nations of the world as testimony, as a witness unto them. Praise the Lord. There are still mountains, nations that are waiting to hear the gospel. And God is not going to send babies. God is not going to send people that are not Christ-like. All right, you're full, you're of age, fine, but you need to go unto perfection. You need to let God break you and mold you into Christ-likeness. Praise the Lord. You need to get rid of some uh, worldly weights in your life. All those things that are lawful but are not edifying, you've got to be ready to let go of it. Praise the Lord. This is not a, a, a job a, a, a level for for any entanglement with the affairs of the world. The Bible says that they that want to live a godly life must suffer persecution. You are going to suffer persecution. You've got to be ready, prepare your heart to suffer for Christ. Jesus says you've got to hate everything, even yourself. Hate your mother, hate your father, hate your uh 
whatever you have, you've got to be able to sell all your possession. Yes, and even be ready to die, to lay your life down for me. That is what Jesus is calling us on to. And we've got to be ready to go all the way with him by his grace, by his Holy Spirit. He's waiting for you and me. He's saying, let's go on to perfection. Let's go on to a, a, a deeper life, a deeper relationship. God is calling us onto a higher mountain. Yes. Please, my brothers and sisters, let's seek God more. I pray the Lord God will help us. God desires and is waiting for us, sons and daughters of God. The Bible says the, 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 the earth awaits the manifestations of the sons and daughters of God. Yes, I pray the Lord God will help you and me too. The Lord will give us the grace. We've got to be ready to take nations for the Lord. We've got to be ready to go deeper into our relationship, to walk in a, in a perfect will of God. Let's go on to perfection. <clears throat> God is calling you and I. Let's go on to perfection. God bless you. Have a great day.